the bugs. All right, well, summer can mean company. They invade your house, eat your food. So how do you deal with unwelcome guests in your home? And by the way, we're not talking about relatives. We're talking about the bugs. Technical specialists Vernon Davis and Jack Horsley are here with Terminix to help us have a pest-free summer. Both of you, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for Thank having you. us. So it's got to be talked about, and it seems like summertime is when you're, you're hitting the bugs off, getting the bites. But is this usually the time that these pests are very active? Uh, summer is definitely a, an active season for pests. We, we live in a climate that we have pest pressure year round, mm -hmm. but you know, summertime brings uh, termites and ants and cockroaches galore. Ooh, kiss me, peepee jeebies. All right, so you brought a piece of wood here. Explain what that is, and I guess the bugs have gotten to it. Well, termites <laughs> have gotten to this, mm -hmm. and also uh, some uh, wood decay fungus has gotten to it. Uh, mm -hmm. We often encounter wood decay fungus in crawl spaces of the house in the course of doing termite work. It's just right there in front of us, and, uh, and it's an opportunity to do something about it. Uh, also, termites cause a lot of structural damage. Actually, I mm -hmm. think the wood decay fungus in this part of the country causes more structural damage than, than the insects, but uh, the insects do their share as well, the termites. Really? Now, how do you know if it's caused by the bugs or if it's just old wood decaying? How, is there a difference, or that's where we call you guys out? Oh, you that's, can take a look that's at really it. An, a frequent and excellent question. The termites will uh, eat out galleries and, and create cavities and often line them with mud. And, and this will impair the structural integrity of it. Mm -hmm. the, the wood decay fungus uh, also impairs the structural integrity, but it does it on, on, on a much smaller scale, uh, sort of a, uh, a molecular scale. Mm -hmm. And um, um, it, it just kind of turn it into something that you can crumble in your hand. Wow. And talk about bed bugs. Um, sure. Is, do you guys see that a lot, too, around this time of um, year? Bed bugs definitely are a growing concern. Mm -hmm. um, they are, are less seasonal than they are, um, you know, with us essentially year-round. Mm -hmm. um, bed bugs are, are insects that feed on warm-blooded animals. Mm -hmm. Our us. blood. <laughs> yeah, us. Yeah. <laughs> we happen to be the grocery store, yeah. you know, for the bed bug. Um, the large metropolitan areas have seen an increase in, in bed bug activity. Um, it's something that we receive calls for every day. Really? And yes. I know you guys brought two little, um, some bugs. What, what, what's in the smaller containers in, and what's in, in the larger In that smaller one? vial, uh, you know, when you think of bed bugs, uh, you know, people wonder, can I see them? Yeah. And yes, absolutely okay. you can. Um, if you think of, of uh, an apple seed, the size and color, that's about the size and color of an, a, a, an adult bed bug. Okay. Um, now the younger ones are a little tougher to identify mm -hmm. uh, with the naked eye, although that can happen if you know what you're looking for. But um, people, as they're traveling during the summertime, need to have a bed bug awareness mm -hmm. that they carry with them. Um, it's smart to take off sheets, check the mattress for any signs of these little apple seed sized and colored insects that might be found there um, to protect yourself. And the larger vial, um, are those the Those are the termites, termites that, that cause the damage yeah. to that wood um, that Jack was showing just a moment ago. Uh, they're colonizing social insects, so it's all of these things working oh. together. You know, um, colonies can average from, you know, the upper tens of thousands to you know, a million or more individuals, but it's on account of that um, working together that they're able to cause significant damage to structures. And really quick, um, Jack, do you guys spray for all types of pests? If folks want to call you guys, take that taken care of. Well, there's if, if, if not spray, there's something to be done mm -hmm. about all kinds of pests. And uh, uh, oftentimes it's a non-chemical approach. It's uh, some physical exclusion is, mm -hmm. is, is, is enormously important. Um, Sanitation. Uh, sanitation, harborage reduction, you know, where these pests like to live, and then, you know, take that nice place to live away from them mm -hmm. if, if given an opportunity. All right. Well, I know a lot of people will, you know, you guys are the ones to call if you start to Please see these little pests around. For more information on how to keep pests out of your home, call Terminix or visit their website. That is insect.com. You can also call them 800-284-7911. Vernon and Jack, thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thanks a lot.